Hello and welcome to News Click. We're going to discuss the German elections and what is seen to be a perceptible shift to the right because the AFD has gained ground. While Merkel might have retained the preeminent position in the parliament, nevertheless, there have been some significant gains made by the right. Left seems to have more or less stood their ground. And uh, the one party which had earlier lost representation has come back in the party. Now, how do you characterize it? Do you characterize it as left liberal? Do you characterize it as a combination of neoliberal and uh, liberal? We don't know. Raghu, how do you see the German elections? A mixed bag? Very mixed bag. Uh, although it reflects a general trend seen throughout Europe of a uh, resurgent or if you like emergent right, uh, perhaps not to the extent that one saw in the Brexit uh, vote or even in France in terms of voting uh, percentage. But uh, as we have seen from Holland, the Dutch elections and now in Germany, you get, you have got additional uh, electoral support for the far right, but it has been kept in check. Uh, I think that is the significant thing, whereas I think a year and a half, two years ago, the trend appeared to be that the right was on a resurgent track throughout Europe and threatening to reach positions where they could capture power. Yeah, but you know, this is again a partial reading of the European scenario, if you remember. Syriza had made significant gains in Europe before they were sort of shut out by the yeah. banks. Podemos in Spain had gained a lot of ground. You still see in Spain a lot of the uh, groups which have now won local elections who yeah. are relatively to the left of even Podemos. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we really can't talk about only resurgent right. Even in France, this is the first time the left in the presidential elections came a very close third. Yeah. In fact, yeah. just a couple of percentage yeah. points uh, really was the difference yeah. between Le Pen and uh, uh, yeah. so, so this whole argument that there's been a resurgent right is really very mixed. It's, it it's not so clear as it absolutely. might appear. And it is mixed also in the sense that while it looked as if a year and a half, two years ago, that this trend was sharpening, I think the German elections and earlier the Dutch elections have shown that if the right also is uh, pushing, they can be pushed back. Uh, I think that's what is uh, visible here. I would say that the what would seem to uh, really characterize European uh, politics, and this is really across the board in Europe, that the traditional politics of a lot of the center yeah. uh, right or center left parties, uh, defining them as the mainstream exactly. media does, those are the ones which are actually losing ground right. on both sides. Exactly. And in fact, what would be seen is that the uh, Merkel's party, the, C the CDP, had a significant right-wing support, which after her uh, one million uh, refugees being taken in, uh, migrants being taken in, that section seems to have split from the CDP and gone to AFD. I agree with you that the general trend certainly visible in Europe, and we can argue in the United States as well, has been that of a uh, decline in some places, even collapse of the center, whether it's center right, center left, and in different contexts, these mean different uh, things, but the, it's the center which has given uh, ground. And this is fairly visible in Germany as well, with Angela Merkel's uh, party having dropped about 8%, that is the CDU plus CSU coalition having dropped about 8%, and the Social Democrats also having dropped a similar number. They are both at the lowest uh, electoral support they have had in many years. And the Social Democrats, in fact, the lowest since uh, the post-war uh, years. And what is visible in Germany is that Angela Merkel's CDU has actually moved from the center right closer to the Social Democrat position, which is why today the leadership of the Social Democrats say we no longer want to be in this coalition because in many ways Merkel has shifted and eaten up their uh, agenda. In fact, if you compare Germany with the rest of Europe, although her party is characterized as the center-right, if not the right, uh, earlier, 
the positions her party has taken are more or less what the center left takes in the rest of europe but so it's also is. but it's also interesting germany takes a very different position with respect to any other eu country exactly. which is dependent on the Euro Euro european union financial institutions exactly. so when it came to greece spain italy uh, all these countries yeah. there was a relative hardening of your your the position that germany had yes. particularly with respect to financial institutions yes. and that was really a part of the crisis of the, of greece that they could not get any uh, respite from extremely onerous burdens which the yes. eu financial institutions put on them yes. and the Germ germany was really That's pushing right. it very hard right. the F freedom party now the fdp's Uh, strong showing in these uh, elections and it looks as if merkel is going to have to put together this uh, very problematic coalition including the greens and uh, the fdp uh, what in germany today is being called the jamaica coalition uh, because of the uh, black green and yellow colors of these three uh, parties it's the colors of the jamaican flag Uh, and this is going to be a very difficult coalition to put because the FDP is a Thatcherite pro-market uh, party, and they have already made fairly clear that uh, they are going to oppose the Greens' energy policy. They are going to oppose the European uh, moderation taking place, which was earlier being done through a diarchy between Merkel. and macron uh, in france and the fdp wants to move it further to the right and to free market uh, economics so it's going to be a tough ask so that's one dynamic that is going to have an impact not only inside germany but also on european politics uh, now whereas earlier everybody else in the european union was comfortable in knowing that angela merkel is the leader in germany undisputed we know where her policies are strongly pro europe etc but now this is going to shake up and have an impact on european politics and economy as well as inside uh, germany as well the second thing i think that we need to watch out for down the road is even though the social democrats say that we have decided to stay out uh, of the ruling coalition primarily in order to deny primacy in the occupation space to the right to the afd the fact remains i think that the afd is going to be an extremely vocal uh, opposition in parliament they've got almost 90 seats uh, in parliament not too far behind uh, the social democrats in terms of their presence uh, in the house and they are going to be an extremely vocal so what's going to be interesting to watch is how much of the opposition to whatever coalition comes led by merkel how much of that opposition is going to come from the right and how much from the left and which gains uh, ascendancy and by the left i'm talking about the social democrat now coming to the other issue the greens and the left the d linke have more or less held their positions and yeah. might have gained yeah, slightly here and there interestingly enough i think in the what the voting figures seem to show that the left has lost some support in Erst while is germany right. meaning the dlink while they've gained quite a bit significant amount of support in where the what used to be Erst while west germany Absolutely. and it therefore if you take what has been eating into the votes of the in west Erst while west germany uh, both the cdu and the social democrats seem to have lost to afd as well as to dlink some of the words which would also seem to indicate the dissatisfaction of the people with neoliberal economics which has really meant that they have the german working class had had a huge squeeze on its wages they have not wages have not risen that's for a very long time that's true in fact i was looking at some of the electoral figures that have come out of uh, germany uh, the afd uh, there's been an attempt through opinion polls to interpret where the afd has gained Uh, their votes from and they seem to have all in all gained about 4 and 1/2 million votes in this election compared to the previous one that's a lot and figures seem to suggest that they have gained about 1.5 million from those who have not voted 
in the last election. So they are new voters. Uh, they've gained roughly an equivalent amount from the CDU-CSU combination. And in fact, it looks as if they have gained more from the CSU. This is something which has escaped most commentators, that the CSU has been the one that has suffered the bigger loss. Well, in that's the, also explicable. In the right coalition. Also explicable because CSU is the more conservative more right wing section of the exactly. of the coalition. Exactly. So, so the Bavarian lost, right is it? So the well. right in the Bavaria, in other parts, they have lost their vote to the AFD, and the CSU has now been making noises, saying that the CDU should now move further to the right in order to try and get back the votes that they have lost uh, to the AFD. The amount of votes that the AFD has gained from either the Greens or from D. Linker are actually very small. They are in the 100,000 odd range, which can happen in any election when one party, there's a momentum in its favor, it can uh, gain. But the other point that you made is, I think, very interesting, which is the East-West. The AFD has gained a lot in the East, which shows the continued disenchantment in the East with unification, what it has brought the East or what it has not brought uh, the East, the loss of uh, work uh, in the East, whereas most of the work and jobs have been created in the West. So the disaffection in the East, the disenchantment with unification has reflected in a protest vote, uh, which has unfortunately gone to the right. Similar to what people said about the Brexit vote exactly. and the Trump vote. Exactly. And there were exactly. not so much votes exactly. for as votes against. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Raghu, for being with us and discussing what could be an important election for Germany and also the European Union. Yes. So let's see how it develops, what things happen in Europe further. Some check, some advances for the right, but we need to see overall terms where we are going to go from here. This is all the time we have for news in News Click today. Please do keep watching News Click, look at us, uh, subscribe to News Click YouTube channel and watch us on Facebook. Thank you very much.